Hmm? Rolling? Yes. Okay. Wow, that's encouraging. Thank you. <laughs> that was a bit great. <laughs> so normally we wouldn't have broken like I did right. to take a drink of my juice. Um, we would have fumbled our way into a new contact method, or let's say mo mode, let's say mode, because that was a head toe reverse. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing now is coming up more symmetrically, hip, hip, chest, mm -hmm. chest, head, which is more classical, let's say. Yeah. And I can entwine you from here as well. Uh -huh. And in the technical jargon of the contact improv lexicon, <laughs> you are in my lap, yeah. which means I like have lots of control over you. Yeah. Now you could switch and put me in your lap as well. That's true. Or your favorite dance partner, whoever they may mm -hmm. be, in your lap, and then you have all kinds of control. You can mess around with them in a cool way. Oh. Watch out for your. Yeah. Can you move that? Yeah. yeah. So I'm watching out for you too. Right. Exactly. So I'm watching out for your genitals That's as crucial. well. Okay, and I'm twisting around you. And now I'm like, I got your hooks now. And I'm like, twist. So I got you. I'm happy. I got dinner <laughs> this year. <laughs> you know? So yeah, there's all these twists that we can. See, I love this because um, this kind of particular because um, again, you're in my lap and I can do things that I don't get to do otherwise. <clears throat> I'm just breaking the pattern. Now, okay, let's interview a second. Uh -huh. Where would you like to work? Your chest, hips, belly? Hips, yeah. Hips, hips. Okay, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on your hips now, okay? All right. And a little bit of the ground adds it as well. The what? The ground adds pressure too. Wait, let's, let's give due reference to the fact that our first partner is the earth. Exactly. Mother earth below us. That's our first partner. So all I'm doing is playing with giving weight to your hips right. in various ways, which you said you wanted. Yeah. So this is a this is the contact 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 form of hanging out with the ribs a lot. I don't know the hips a lot. So there's a kind of falliness to it. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, you yeah, want to maintain the swivel. Out. Well, the falliness is a level where you're so strong and together that you can handle chaos and the unknown uh -huh. which you, you, you kind of rely on for new things to happen that you exactly. wouldn't expect. So you're constantly fucking up and falling. Yeah. And doing weird shit. That you never did before. Just so something well different will happen. And then the same old same old I love that uh, Scott likes to do this a lot. He'll jump on me like this. Give me lots of pressure. Wow. So basically in terms of spiral, any grappling is kind of, well, since we're kind of long noodles, you know, uh -huh. any twist we do anywhere counts as a spiral. Right. So if we accentuate it to the nth degree, the spiral or the stretch or the stillness, we exaggerate it, then we get the full benefit of whatever it is. The full stretch. The full stretch. Mm -hmm. Rather than standing up and wiggling around and waving your arms all around like most people do. Mm -hmm. We do contact improv. We're three-dimensional beings. Yeah. <clears throat> on an emotional level and physical level. So, what are you doing? Oh, careful. Oh, yeah. 
should always be protecting yourself first and your partner for, for sure as well. And see, I'm hanging with this one because I like that. Yeah. It's good belly work. It is. And lumbar work. And uh, see, I'm just letting you slide yep. underneath where I keep getting that one spot worked on. Because I like the background. I'm still in the lap. I'm going to give you some break on the pressure. I'm not giving you much pressure now. Now, I'm just doing a simple <laughs> rotating thing just to see what he'll do with that. If he'll do anything with that. Will he do anything with that? Hmm. Are, you, are, you, are you winged? Are you, are you trembling at this point? No. I'm, are you still good? I'm fascinated by this. All right. Mm. Yeah, I like that you emphasize the stir point as well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> See, how did we get here? <laughs> how did this happen? Well, it's a classic position, right? Not too unusual about it. But how we got here was through a path that was unknown. Yeah. yeah. Except that we're probably being filmed um, by the essential, uh, extra, essential, extra special, what do they call them? Other, other realms. Exactly. The right, yeah. of the ethereal realms. Yep. Being recorded, witnessed, in you know, the groundbreaking work on <laughs> planet Earth. <laughs> between Stephanie and me being kind of exhibited at the fact that we know each other and we trust each other. And, He's got a very strong body, and I can mess with him a lot. Oh, that is... Oh, sorry about that. Now, if we crash into the genitals, like I just did, yeah. it's just, I'm sorry. We didn't do the sexual clearing, did we? Well, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, oh, that's what I forgot. <laughs> the thing is, we, it's, we don't need any of it sexually, okay? No, thumbs down. Okay, so that's the clearing. Yeah. So then... The shit's gonna happen, right? Right. So then, when I banged your genitals like I just did with my knee or something, you just say, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like you hit their neck or something. Right, right. That's it. So that's the sexual clearing. I'm sorry. It doesn't have to be uncomfortable. What do you mean? Well, it, it and like, yeah, even if it might, uh, you, you feel, yeah, the, the mental awkwardness can be cleared by. Uh, well, there's two safeties there's, you yeah. have to create in order to do this work at all. One is you have to check for injuries. Yeah. The other you have to do is sexual cleaning. Otherwise, they're gonna be afraid they're gonna hurt you, or they're gonna afraid they're gonna have sex with you. So if you get rid of those two fears, and you trust each other, yeah. then you can play like kids again. I know. That's it, that's, it's, that's, so that's why I brought it up, yeah, because they banged into you. It's essential. And a lot Are of the time, um, yeah, I'm okay, I'm I didn't even notice it really. Well, I was just barely. A lot of it's understood because you're already either friends or in a in a circle that's sacred and protected and contained. You have to have that certain kind of sacred intelligence yeah. about yeah. sexuality to be able to do this. Yeah. That's the simplest way to put it. A sacred intelligence yeah. about sexuality before you can do this. And that and that we all have uh, different patterns of that development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course the, the month cycle. Well the whole thing build sensitivity on every level, physically, yeah. emotionally, sexually even. Not that we have sex, but that issue comes up and we, you know, we can talk about it. So then we have safety and then we have super fun. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep going? One more session. Yeah. Okay, this time I'm going to take my glasses off. Okay, yeah. That means I'm going to be using my head. Of course. Okay. Which is another limb. Yes, it is. Head, hair, feet, toes, and 